This one was old. We patched it up, but then it got opened again, so that's new. By any measure, the damage to Sineda Martinez's home near Dallas, Texas, is minor. And so was the earthquake that caused it. But the point is that tiny tremors happen almost every day now. One day there were 12. 12? Yes, we had 12. Like, we had one in the morning, then in the afternoon, then at night. Her kids get them at school. Everything was shaking, and even the papers, even the buckets that are on the shelves. Right. And you were scared. Well, you weren't scared. Kind of both. If this were California, fine, but it's Texas. Wildfires, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, those are the natural disasters you're supposed to plan for in Texas. Earthquakes? No. Let's say you do get the big one, whatever that turns out to be. Mm -hmm. So then what happens in here? All of a sudden, people in Dallas think they need an earthquake plan. When you had, you know, about 12 a day, uh, that got people excited and um, got into, brought it to the top of people's minds, measure it. It's Rocky Vaz's job to come up with that plan. We're all getting up to speed, understanding the history of earthquakes, what it could do, what type of damage it does. Some suspect the cause is this, oil and gas fracking. In recent years, there's been a fracking boom in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Fracking forces oil and gas out of the rock and shale using water but it's actually the disposal of the wastewater forced into the ground through injection wells that might be loosening things up underground. Seismologist Brian Stump heads a team trying to solve the mystery of what they call the Texas earthquake swarm. They've planted probes around Dallas to record what's happening below. In regards to the recent seismic activity that we've been experiencing here in North Texas. Earthquake nervousness drew a standing room only crowd to this city hall forum in the Dallas suburb of Irving. Sineda Martinez was there, Rocky Vaz too, as well as people who have strong feelings about the fracking, the wastewater disposal, and the earthquakes. They're all related. Now please give us some answers. Thank you. They worry the chemically-laced wastewater isn't just causing earthquakes, it's contaminating their groundwater. The fact that they have been widely felt... Stump, the seismologist, could only tell them their theory was reasonable. There are plausible or, pl or possible linkages between wastewater disposal and the earthquakes. The mayor of Irving, Texas, says she wants to get to the bottom of it all, but when she says things like this about the earthquakes... Mother Nature is a tricky thing. Right now, in North Texas, how many times have you had to have your roof redone because of hail? She sounds like she's made up her mind. It's not the fracking wastewater disposal that's to blame. The oil and gas industry is keeping a close eye on how the story develops. Steve Everly, an energy policy consultant, advises that people not rush to judgment simply because of media hype. You see a word like fracking, which sounds like something you wouldn't want to say to your grandmother, and they realize we've got headline bait here. There are three simple steps. Meanwhile, at Abigail's school, they're practicing rolling out of their chairs and hiding under their desks in the duck, cover, and hang on tight maneuver. What would you hold on to in the kitchen? One of the keys. One of the table legs. One of the table legs, yeah. That's probably what I'd do. Keith Bogues, CBC News, near Dallas, Texas.